Repeat, this is not a drill. and welcome back to crafting with cost if you're back for another DIY so in this project I'm going to be showing how I upgraded some denim jeans as well as I used a Dollar Tree basket slash bucket to create a cute denim bucket bag so this handbag can transition right from summer uh, to fall or to the winter months and if you want to see how I achieve this stylish denim bucket handbag for an affordable price uh let's go over the materials and let's go ahead and let's get right started welcome to pass your skill perfect so for this diy i started by cutting off the pant legs and then I braided some black string that I used in a previous DIY from a drawstring book bag to add to the handbag as well. And I used a pair of jeans for guys, but this should work for any other pair of jeans that you are no longer wearing. And so here I'm just poking some holes on the waist part of the jeans to add the drawstring. And I continue this process evenly all around the waist. Then I remove the interior pocket lining to avoid bulging. And I glue the inside pockets together to prevent bulging as well. And here I'm just trimming off some excess so I can get the cut close to the seat of the bottom of the pants and then I'm just going to play with it to see how I'm going to wrap it around the bucket. Then I cut up some remainder of the pant scraps to add to the interior of the bag as well as add as the handle. I started to use the E6000 hot glue combo, but I found out that the hot glue gun was good enough to use in this particular case. Then I cut up one of the laundry bags from the Dollar Tree and use it as an interior bag lining. And here I'm playing with how I'm going to wrap it around the bag with cutting the seat of the pants. And after I got everything how I wanted it, then I started gluing everything to the base. And 
Then I traced the bottom of the bucket with the inside part of the jeans so that I could have a flat bottom or like a flat base. And then this was a tricky part, but I'm basically just wrapping everything around and trimming and cutting where I need to and folding over as I glue so that there isn't any rough seams. And here I'm just adding some jump rings to the belt loop as well as a chain for a carrying strap. I added the tag from the inside of the pants, cut it up and then placed it on the exterior as well as on the back. And then I cut up the jawstring cord a little bit to make it a little shorter. And I added some cord in the inside so you could tie it and close it tighter. And lastly, I decided to add some rhinestones to the bottom portion of the bag just to give it a little bit more detail. Thanks for watching and stick around and check out these other cute affordable DIY projects.